Beginners uh, playing claw hammer banjo. Um, this is a really great tune to learn. Uh, I tried to get a video out last week, just got tied up with uh, travel for Thanksgiving. So um, this is a great tune to start practicing now if you want to play around New Year's. It's just a really fun, easy version of this that you can, you know, play and sing with a bunch of folks. So um, all that said, Let's dive in. Let's get started on it. Uh, please follow the tab that's in the video description. The <clears throat> excuse me tabs and videos are always free to you, and uh, there are is a tip jar that is much appreciated. Um, should you feel so inclined, but that's not what is important. What is important is picking some better tunes. So we're gonna just play off of three chord positions in this. Open G. We're going to use a D, you know, you, there are a couple boys that do D, this way, this way, this way. We're going to just use a two finger D. You're going to do second fret on the A, third fret on the B. E minor is second fret on both the Ds. Open everything else. Your C is just putting your finger down on the first fret on the B. That's all we get for this song. So this just follows the very basic melody. There are a few instances where the melody might come between the bum ditties, but I'm actually trying to get an intermediate lesson out of this as well. Uh, so that it, that one will have more of that, but this is just the, the melody notes that fall within that pattern. So let's get started. This is just mostly straight bum ditty. We're starting on D, alternating bass, to D, G, D, G. So we're going to do that pattern, and then in the, what is it, the fifth bum ditty of the open G, you go up to your open B. So it sounds like this. That is in like, Should old acquaintance. That's how it starts out. And we're going to do that D. So you're going to go like this. This is what you're going to end up doing. So you're going to bum ditty that. And then you're very you're going to very quickly lift your uh, your middle finger and hit your open B. So it's like a bum ditty. A lot of times you're used to hitting a bum ditty and then like brushing like a, a full chord. What you're actually going to do here is hit your open B and then you're only going to hit your second fret on your G as your like would be your brush, so to speak. So like, when you see that, I don't want you to be confused. Like that is still technically the same pattern that we're using here as a bum ditty. So, so far we have, should all acquaintance be forgotten and, that's with it. So you wanna make sure that you're not brushing that full open there, you're just hitting a open B, and uh, B forgot and, and then back to G, never, now you're going to hit G open back to back, and then you're going to uh, kind of ascend up in the notes, so we're going to, then open B, open D, hit your your first strike your bum ditty is actually going to be the melody note was the second fret and then you're going to skip the b and hit the open g for your next for your alternating so then you're going to repeat this again so what i'll do here is do uh my, uh what is it Never brought to mind Should old, old acquaintance So Now we're on the G So let's take a step back 
we're looking at the tab. We're in the, the second uh, row down and where the C starts. All right, follow me, let's do this. G. Same thing we did before. So this is this is the potentially trickiest part of this whole thing. So we're doing that that we did before. We're gonna very quickly pivot to the E minor and open G. Hit the D, the low D on the second fret for your second time. Okay, then you're gonna hit that low D again on the second fret for the first strike of your C. So, that you only strike the C, or do a bump to the other C once, because there's a very quick turnaround to the D that has to happen. So, let's start, let's do now third row down on the first page. that's a little tricky if you're a beginner let me take it from so you'll see that's like now we're in the fourth uh row down and i have like a break and that is going to be start what i consider the refrain of the song so let me take the first three from the top i'll try to sing it along don't make fun of me should old acquaintance be forgot and So it's just, let me take the, let's take it from the very, just that last part again, third row down, starting on the D. Let me see, make sure you see my hands. So then the song goes up again. So, you know, I actually wrote a guitar version of this too that I released uh, about a week ago or so. And I kept, there's this note in the melody that when it kicks it into the next, you know, part of the song. And it's like, if you look at maybe like a piano piece or like a strumming guitar piece, you won't see the full C in there. Like I can hear it. So that's the way I wrote this here. So we did uh oh, now we're after the page break C once G So that was two so your bottom on your C Now we're on G high D alternate to open B we did the C we we did our bump to the alternating from the high D and then open G this time what I did was I kept it on the B string and it's mostly because that is like a like a high point in the song and I wanted it to stay high so we're gonna keep it in the higher register so so we 
are now, let's again start in the last um, uh, row on the first page. <clears throat> just kind of a repetition of uh, little you know like licks I guess you could call them um, and this in this strumming sort of basic version um, that's just sort of mixed up a little bit so from the top let me see if I can get it again I'll try to sing it so it makes sense Should old acquaintance be Zion, start practicing now. Play it on New Year's for your friends and family. Have a good one.